Hey guys, Nails here. Uh, I just wanted to post something uh, from Minecraft. I built a redstone device I made uh, quite a while ago. This is this map is from a 1.7 server we had for a while. Um, we had a bunch of our friends just trying to work together to, you know, instead of everyone spreading out and making their own stuff, we actually worked together to make stuff. And yeah, th we didn't have this map for too long, but mostly what we worked on is I think. Well, around 1.7 is when they really started to get uh, redstone. They started to make redstone work with uh, multiplayer, like really, really well, like better than they ever did before. So this was kind of like a test map. A lot of us started building redstone stuff. So um, mostly what I wanted to show you guys is um, you guys have seen these doors before, these secret doors, um, you know, the Exxon toggle so that you can... You know, these are the old school. I mean, these these things have been around forever. Um, and these things, where you know, things open up, and this, you know, just with all stone timing, and again, X on X off for these switches and stuff like that. Um, now, what I want to show you guys, uh, which is different from what everybody else has been doing, is basically uh, a new type of trap door. And I've seen people make things similar. But in almost every single circumstance, they put them up against ledges or walls or something similar. You know, almost every single one. Because the, the biggest problem with having a zero surface secret door is, you know, the hiding all the blocks and making it so you can actually, like, get downstairs and stuff. And most people want to use stairs and stuff to make it work. But, you know, I, I tried so many different companies. I mean, I dug out big ravines and, you know, tried to have all these, you know, dynamic pistons that would push this and this and this into place and, you know, end up where, you know, after all the transforming and piston movement, you'd end up with, you know, stairs coming down from a flat surface. And while I'm sure, I guess if you did enough stuff, it would be possible. Make with a uh, multiplayer server lag, it makes it almost impossible. Even with mine that I made on this server, I still have the multiplayer lag would screw up my zero, zero surface door. So basically, I want to show you guys what I made. And keep in mind, I made this in 1.7 beta. So we're going back to a really old map. I just I'm just showing it now, just because. I don't know, some people told me that they've never seen anything like this before, and I should share it, so yeah. Anyway, here's the door. Basically, you'll notice the timing is it pulls the dirt down first and then to the side. I want to make it as simple as possible, um, just to get into the underground from a, you know, basically, I want to make it so you can put this in any flat surface, no matter what. You didn't have to be near any ledges or anything. You could put the switch on, you know, the bottom of a tree trunk or whatever you wanted to do. But the the point was a zero surface door that, you know, you could literally put on any completely, perfectly flat surface. Um, so it came out of nowhere. And and like other people have noted on similar doors that they've made, obviously when you push this back up, the the grass blocks you know, they turn into dirt, so, you know, you can see these will eventually turn to, to just regular dirt. You push it back up, and but the dirt grows over pretty quick, so it's not that bad. But as you can see, basically, you have to hop for the last two steps. But, I mean, that's not a big deal. I mean, you know, to, to, to make this thing work this well, I think it's worth it. So, anyway, um, the biggest reason I'm posting this is actually for my own benefit, not for, you know, to say, hey, look at this cool thing I made. Um, it's the, m the main reason is um, when I made this, this is like the very first real redstone anything I actually made. Uh, and actually, it's the only real redstone anything I've made since. Um, I wanted to, hopefully, I'm posting this so that hopefully somebody, you know, the people that are really smart with redstone, they could compact this entire thing into something way smaller. Uh, because I, this this is just too big, it just takes up too much area. I opened up just a lot of space just because, you know, I wanted to try to make all this stuff as easy as possible for me to understand redstone and how everything worked and make sure there's room for me to get behind everything. Um, but basically, you can see there's, uh, let's see, three, six, uh, uh, six, so 12 pistons total for this whole thing. Um, you know, the basically the layer that pulls the six blocks down, and then the layer that pulls them from the sides. And all the other things is just to get the order right. And back then, I couldn't figure out how to get the order right. You know, you can notice it lowers first, then pulls the side. It doesn't do it really quick like other people's. Uh, I used to have a X on X off thing here because I thought I could, you know, do a reverse trigger on it so that it would, you know, kind of like. But I found out those are mostly for those toggle switches. 
so basically what I ended up doing was uh, making, um, I ended up uh, using a railroad track to, to kind of flip it. So basically I'm, I have a toggle. These are like, you know, universal toggles and they're really spread out. I'm sure people have made like a toggle switch that's like a million times smaller. But back then, you know, in 1.7 beta, you know, when I'd go to YouTube and search on uh, toggles, this is like the only basic one I found that wasn't gigantic. Um, so I just made two toggles, one for each phase, basically. So so basically they toggle in the right reverse order. And then I built this Minecraft track because I couldn't get it to delay properly. I couldn't get, basically it would just do everything, it would switch instantly and the bo blocks would get screwed up, especially with multiplayer. Uh, you know, the server would hit a spot of lag and you'd open the door and then one of the blocks wouldn't come down. So this is how I fix that. It's just by, you know, it's a, it's a two trigger Minecraft track and all the cart does when you hit the switch is it just travels down over here and hits this and then travels back down and hits this. And basically both of these buttons trigger each, the, you know, the two phases of the, uh, you know, pistons so that, you know, no matter w what order you push the button in, it does everything in order, basically. It pulls them down, pulls them out, push them, pushes them in, pushes them back up kind of thing. So honestly, I'm sure there's a way, way, way better way to do this. Uh, and that's kind of why I'm posting this. I want to see if anyone can take this thing that I've made, this uh, zero surface door, and just make it smaller. Make it as small as you possibly can. I mean, I, I guess you could consider it a challenge. Um, just to make this the zero surface door as small as possible and taking up you know as little space as possible and oh crap it's dark the mobs probably gonna kill me yeah see sometimes you get that but see I mean that's that's what I want that's what that's the cool part about this is that the door was like zero surface so uh, if you guys can I mean post replies with better videos. I mean, there might already be some up, but I haven't found any when I search for, you know, flat surface doors, uh, flat surface secret doors. Usually I find like door traps and other things. I found a couple that are extremely similar to this, actually way cooler because they get the steps to go all the way down, but not on a completely flat surface. Everybody puts them up against a ledge. So uh, let me know. Uh, thanks a lot, guys.